Hello guys and welcome to my first C++ tutorial on classes. What is a class? A class is a data structure that allows you to take functions and data variables and put them in one unity so they become easy to manage. The result is a program that is easy to manage, maintain and debug and stop. Instead of going and giving you a full lecture on classes, I've chosen to use a simple example to explain what a class is and what it can do for us. This is an example, actually one of my friends is really obsessed with this. If you take a wa your weight in kilogram and divide that by your height in centimeters minus 100, you get a number. If that number is above 0 0.8 and below 1.2, you're healthy and if it's not, you're not healthy. I actually don't know if this is true or not, but we're using classes to write a C++ program to test this today. So let's go ahead and uh, create our class. Class person. We call it person. And um, the first thing we put those guys in there. And we create our variables. Our variables are going to be doubles. So we double weight in kilograms and uh, double height in centimeters. After we have our variables, we create our functions. So we're going to have setters. I'm uh, really bad at this. And uh, the operation functions. So first we create our constructor and its person. And the setters are going to be the functions that allow us to modify the values in our variables in the func in the class so we do void set um, height double height do void um, set uh, weight and uh, it takes in a double and it's we call it weight what it takes in. After the setters we're going to create this, the getters for our class. The getters are functions that retrieve values in the class and the, they're going to return those values. So the first one returns a double it's called get weight and uh, it takes nothing in. Second is going to be get height and uh, it takes nothing into. The third class of function that we have in our class here is going to be the function that we use to do our operations on the class. Mm, maybe it doesn't make sense now, but hang up with me guys. You're going to understand that as we go. So is uh, second is going to return a double and it's going to compute the health mm, factor. So we have our class with variables and uh, functions complete. Some of the pitfalls in class definition are trying to give a return value to the constructor function or to forget the semicolon here. What we have so far is um, the declaration for our class. We're actually going to need to implement it for it actually to be able to do something. So implementation. We start by the constructor and uh, the circle value I'm going to 
copy and paste around here. Person. And uh, remove those guys. And uh, move those guys here. Copy and uh, paste. The first thing we put here is the scope resolution. So we know these functions belong to our class. The second is to remove the semicolon here. This thing. So we have the starting point for our functions. In the constructor we're going to assign initial values to our variables so we say weight kilogram equals 0, 0.0 for the start and height in centimeter equals 0, 0.02. In the set height we take the value we pass to the function and give it to the actual height value in our class. So we say mm, height and we say weight in kilogram equals weight and these are the setters. You see we, we call them setters because we're actually setting the values in our class. So the getters return values from the class and give it to whatever function is calling. So we're going to return the weight in kilogram. In the get height we're going to return the height in centimeters. So to say if a person is healthy, we're going to test for it first. But for that, we're going to use this function. So we say mm, return mm, weight in kilogram divided by height in centimeters minus 100. Just as our example said from the start. When this function is done, we say that um, F um, health factor um, superior to 0 0.8 and um, health factor inferior to 1.2 return true because it returns a boolean else it's going to say you're not healthy it return false up to this point our class is defined and uh, implemented. All, it's all that is left is to actually try it in our main function and see if, actually let's uh, first build and see if uh, there are no errors or surprises because we might have some done something wrong. Come on. No errors. So we can um, 
say person we create an instance of our class person and uh, say John or let's say uh, Neo so when we type Neo and put a colon on it we see all the functions we have defined and the variables notice that the variables have this lock on it this is to mean that they are private because we define them in the private area of the class so let's um, actually do something with this let's say <coughs> print mm, neo mm, get height when we do this and uh, run our program it's going to print zero because when the constructor initializes our classes it gave those values zero so let's try and um, set mm, set mm, height and let's say neo is um, 176 centimeters high or tall so if we print the same information again and uh, run our program it's going to tell us that Neo is a hundred seventy six centimeters tall Mm, so let's set the weight too. So we say Neo set not Neo but Neo set uh, weight. Let's say he is uh, 80 kilograms mm, and uh, the good information to see here is Neo uh, is Neo healthy? And you say Neil is healthy. Mm. So when we print that, <laughs> Neil is healthy because his factor is uh, within the healthy range. Let's see that range. So we say Neil mm, health factor remember that this function returns a double so we can print it and see what it actually is and, uh, when we print that his factor is 1.0 so according to the theory of my friend there Neo is a healthy person the whole concept in this example is to get you really introduced to, to classes in classes you define it there is uh, the class declaration and uh, this is actually in uh, practical programs this is in the headers and uh, you have the implementation for your program and uh, <coughs> you have the setters uh, you have the getters to retrieve values from uh, your classes and you have the operations that implement whatever it is you want to do with your classes in the main function you create an instance of the class and you use it to do whatever it is you want to do and achieve I realize this has been a long tutorial I'm sorry for that and I hope it hasn't been confusing the source code for our project here can be found at the link provided in the description and uh, drop me a line tell me what you think I hope this has been informative to you and thanks for watching